Greets from Serbia. This is your friend Black Division on the block, presenting you high quality recording material for your viewing pleasure. This is the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, or as I like to call it, Oblivious. So, in our last journey, which was recorded but never published fully on YouTube, these two gruesome episodes were made. I'm pleased to tell you, you don't have to deal with it, because I'm gonna fucking delete the content. Sorry, you, you just don't want to see it in entirety. So much cringe. Instead, if you want to watch them online, I have them linked in the cards on the upper right corner. Go ahead and take a view of them if you like, and then come back when you feel like it. If you don't even want to be bothered with that shit, we will go forward in the Wayne Lounge. Chillin' like an arch nemesis would. We're loading the game right now in this nice chill place, being really nice and peaceful, peaceable and kind. However, we have to go closer, investigate and see what Kvatch is going to be. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty shitty. But first, we must make our own discoveries. kind of wonder where exactly it would be. Perhaps we'd go pass through. Uh, let's see. We can go up the road, or no, we have to go south, and through this Imperial Reserve. Yeah, that's some fuckboy shit. But unfortunately, I think there's no better option but to do that. And the reason why I say that so readily is because when I last played this game... Uh, with that hidden segment that you can view clips of, by the way. Just wanted to give you a reminder in case, you know, it's never too late. Uh, when I was going through Oblivion, I was just getting my ass kicked steady for like the past 45 minutes to an hour of recording. Didn't see it as something that would be rather enjoyable or nice to view. I hope this recording is slightly different in that regard. That if it's something that you are getting bored of, it's your fault and not mine. I hope. We can never guarantee these things, however. So we're gonna just skip lore this area, see exactly what I can get. Maybe they can offer me a horse. If you're looking to buy a horse, go inside and talk to Bongard. Sure thing. I'll catch you later. Goodbye. See you later. Hopefully offers a reasonable cost. I'm not gonna pay. Hello. Hi. I run the North Country Stables. Are you interested in a horse? Why, yes, I am. Time to buy one. There are no finer chestnut horses to be found anywhere in Cyrodiil. They are not as hardy as most, but only the black horse is faster. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't have 25,000 gold right now. Too bad. You won't find a better chestnut horse anywhere in Cyrodiil. Fair enough. I'll catch you later. You too. Well, maybe. Maybe maybe you too. I see that's an old fag. He said that meme. No, I've already been helped quite readily. I appreciate your kind services. However, I am not able to buy a horse from you. Don't have the 2,500 gold. And I'm not tempted to spawn any either. We are legitimate players here. Legitimate gamers. Playing a legitimate, activated version of this game purchased legitimately from the Steam Store. Man, is it beautiful outside. It's great because it's May right now. Feeling that nice fresh air. My allergens going crazy. So, hmm. Oh, we can explore that mine that I said we were going to explore the last episode. But we didn't. Ooh, spooky music! Fuck you! Yeah, you just, you just show up everywhere. And I have no idea why you have that gold coin. But nevertheless, we will explore this. For no stone goes unturned. Poor spooky skeleton. Yes, I'm going to take that bone meal. What I learned is that I can use my mortal and pestle and be able to craft such lovely ingredients. 
Let's see. Well, I have my steel bow. That's something that I also lost. We're gonna go fuck this guy up nice and hard. OG style. Sup, nigga? Fuck! Son of a bitch. Okay. No, 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 no. He's got a bow of his own and a lockpick. Good stuff. Hmm. Get in line, nigga. Motherfucker. Fuck you, guy. That's one insistent rat. Glad I put him out of his misery. For that was one depressed animal. Okay. Alright, hear this out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready to fuck up all who come near Black James Woods. One more try. Son of a bitch! This shit does not want to work. I guess we'll find out what else we can do. I'm guessing this opens. Come on, don't face me. I'd rather have your death be nice and peaceful. Ah, oh, he's gonna turn around, I just know it. Well, that was easy. Was able to avoid much of the strafe. Maybe I can go get two more tries on that thing anyway. I take it back. No room for the crabs here. Man, this game is not being fair to me right now. Mm. Yeah, I would have been able to unlock that if one of these fuckers had some damn lockpicks. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna switch out the weapons. Come a little closer. There's a lot more to see. This dude fucking leaps. What the fuck? Where the hell did you come from? Did I forget to kill you or something? Okay, things are less shitty now. I think I worked backwards or something. Or maybe they pretended to be dead. It's rather convincing. Well, more lockpicks, that's great. Sweet. Well, an iron curious that's in probably better condition than what I had before. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. That's unlocked, which is good. I'm gonna keep this with me. I'm not gonna go back for that quote-unquote easy chest. Because I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna be really easy for me. 
Off we go. Well, we can't move these. Hmm. We can't move this. Pillaged mine limestone works. These are some deep travels. And in these deep travels, we need to be prepared. Apparently because of some fuck shit, I wasn't able to play the game entirely. That's alright though, we'll finish what we started. Frustrated. Confused. And most importantly, sexually pissed off. We will make whoever angers us dead meat. Fuck you. I ain't taking your shit a single day, bastard. I know you're having my head tracking, but man, am I frustrated. I would explain why this is not so easy. At least not as I originally imagined. A game that I wanted to play peacefully and without much duress. Nevertheless, giving me stress. This isn't a guess, more like a game of chess. But anyway, the Black James Woods ain't got no time for drama. He has had time for your mother, but only on the weekends, because those are the days where he drinks. Uh, on second thought, actually not. He, he's given up alcohol entirely. He's become a teetotaler, the finest in the land. So we got this fancy sword that's gonna do a lot more damage. And sadly, these things don't work. Yeah, try pathfinding your way up here, you stupid bitch. Not gonna land you much luck. Um, not sure if I told you this, guys, but this is a re-record. Not entirely something I'm proud of, but nevertheless, when a game crashes in the middle of a dungeon. Ooh. Uh, I thought he had something more valuable. I guess not. Uh, where was I? So as I explored this dungeon hoping to find more valuable things, and uh, not necessarily coming across them every time, perhaps I'll find something that's worth my time. You know, of material value. Because at this point, we should. Yeah, like, the way these guys just jump up on you is, like, really struggling. It makes me feel rather uncomfortable near them. They say rude words near me and I get all intimidated. I know I have a big Johnson, but that's besides the point. Just because you have one doesn't mean you are immune from getting it used. Forcibly, and without your consent. Hmm. Mm hmm yes. There we go. Finally. At least I'm 16 gold richer. It's like we're 397 gold in, and uh, what was I going to add on that? Nicely. Um, I guess we're like one-eighth of the way to getting a chestnut horse. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a humble goal, right? 
We're also gonna trip the wire and see exactly what happens. Just for funsies. <laughs> Leave no stone unturned. No hinge unbended. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and find that other one that was locked. There we go. Ah, uh, shit. Well, you can't always get what you want. And with no more classy chests to discover, I'm getting out of this. Motherfucker. I don't think any kind individuals will be here to harass me. Yeah, I should be for the most part good. Well, this was a nice discovery. You won't find this shit in Skyrim. Or, you know what, I, I take the entirety of that back. You will find all of this and more in Skyrim. Played a game called The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I think you might have heard of it. And in it, I uh, explored a dungeon that looked very much like one of these. It was really fun. For a while, of course. Then it got frustrating. There was this one moment in the game, and... Spoiler alert, here, here's a storyline spoiler. Um... Here's what happened. I was trying to, like, get rid of... One of the bad guys, if that makes sense. And, uh... Had to go and lock him up in a chain. And the chain, for some reason, wouldn't exactly work. Like, the chain would cause him to go hostile, even though he was supposed to be friendly. Oh, sweet. Traveling bandits. Best you could do? Yes, it is actually quite skilled. You gotta have your bitch boy come after me. And he fucking missed. Or, oh, it's a she. Girl, come on. Come get with me. At least you have more of those. I could use that, and I could use that for a shield. It's all gonna come in handy for me as armor. Sweet. Time to go suit up for my defense. And cause you to become deceased. Go ahead. Do it. What is that, your fucking spells, you bitch? Get fucked. Preferably with your consent. I appreciate you for your kind stuff. And we'll take no more of it from you. Alright, with that being said, it looks like we're going towards the edge of uh, Cyrodiil. And in that, you can have some nice little picture moments, you know? It looks like I'm stuttering a little bit uh, in the game, not with my way of speaking. Hopefully it's not good old crash to desktop time. It is something that has happened in this recording. I think I've told you that. But, uh... Yeah, let's leave that to one. That's gonna be our limit. I'm getting closer to that end path. Ooh, what's this? A nice dock. Cool. They really spent their time on this. Feel nice and cozy. Chill. Relaxed. More journeying we go. Scary music, sweet. Who wants to fuck? Who wants to sizzly sizzle on down? More warriors? Oh, you guys gotta be fucking kidding me. Get fucked. A battle marauder mage? Then you should have been good at this. God. I'm gonna get over encumbered. In fact, I already am. Shit. I'll steal some of your bows and your stuff. Get a little bit potioned up, if that makes sense. Get that respite going. 
some sorcery, a healing potion, and a poison of illness. Because I'm ill. Motherfucker, I'm ill. Boy. And fortify strength. Yeah, you guys are gonna pay. Where, where you be? Look at that. That's a floating tree. <laughs> Just killed you by that. Sad, sad girl. Got some of that. I got an iron helmet to contain my nice afro. Greaves, boots, and everything. And you all are rich. Shit. Looks like I got an attack from somewhere. Let's go drop the things that I can't really use. Man, this stuff is supposed to be heavy, but not really. Hmm. I'll go substitute that and drop that one. Pick up that and that. Yes. There we go. And get rid of that first shield. Yeah, I should be good for now. Fuck it, I'm probably not gonna be all good in a second. Gauntlets, where's that? Yeah, I got them. There we go. There you are, you fuck boy. You and your claymore should play less. Get good, son. With that, I bid you an adio. A little bit too weak for this. What weapon was I using? Oh. Well, of course, that's why I took a little bit more to damage him. Let's get to my car wood. And sell the weapons that are worth the least. That's called economical standards. Poor villager. Well, actually, no, he was a marauder. This lord got some good stuff with him. Gold trim shoes and a black and burgundy outfit. Shield of Truehorn and a war battle axe? This guy. Who is he? Why did he live such a deadly life? The shame has had to happen to him. It's not a shame that I stole his shit. Well, not really stealing, because he was dead. Looting is the proper term. More economical times call for economical measures. We good. These folks had everything. This village. Is that a friend or a foe? Excuse me, mister. I'd like to talk to you. This is indeed a dark day for all of us left. But I thank you for risking your own life to help us. Here, take this. It'll tell you all you need to know. As the newest master of the castle, I bid you welcome. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate your kind services. Thank Azura for your help. Man, these guys got really fucked up. <laughs> Shit. Well, I am actually just here to steal their stuff and, you know, call it a day. I don't have time for much of the drama. I mean, not anymore. I've kind of grew out of it. Here, let me go help you out there. There we go. Ah, shit. There we go. Such a dark day indeed. Thought I was able to help them. But it seemed that every single time I tried, it just got... It made things worse. Way, way worse. Way more sexual than they had to be. This was rather incidental coverage. I had no idea why this would happen to me, out of all people. Oh, I, I thought that was worth something. Hmm. Where's the heavy stuff at? Yeah, this stuff is not gonna sell for much.
Maybe I'll have an opportunity to put some of these things in something. Hmm. Wonder how I got here. Is this the uh, Knights of the Nine? It might be. Yes. So this is a little bit of a post-recording note. I never played this part right. of Oblivion. This apparently is the uh, special plugin that you get with the, the Game of the Year edition in the DLC. Uh, Battlehorn Castle and uh, the uh, Fighter Stronghold official plugin. Had no idea that I was just called the master of this castle. So I continue onwards completely oblivious. And now the in-game commentary. It's not even like saying that I'm stealing any of this stuff, which is nice. Shit. I'm gonna go and use these repair hammers to get my stuff back up to good in working condition. Yeah, we good. We Gucci for a 2.0. And on this end of the road, Battlehorn Castle looks most useful. Hmm. We're gonna extend this Let's Play by a little bit. What, if I... Nice! Yo, this is bitchin'. And... And you're telling me hello sir and all this stuff. I feel really proud. Maybe I'll come back and pick up the stuff of this dead Marauders. Feel rather proud to be a part of this nice castle. But we're gonna have to go and sell some stuff to make some money. And then finally, of course, go to Kavach. I apologize for whatever diversions I might have caused. It's certainly fanciful. Never felt this proud to be a part of a castle. And to have all these options afforded me. Eh, fuck it, we're gonna f- No, no, no. I- I take it back. No fast traveling. With the exception of when I get arrested for some fuckboy shit. I didn't do nothing. I stand by my words. I am an honest man. A man in steel armor who is rather resistant towards any of that miscellaneous stuff. Any kinds of attempts to divert my path from victory to a defeat will be met by equal measure with enemies attacking. Aha! So that's the path of all of the enemies that came before, that sadly had to die. I had no choice. I tried to live a peaceful life, but they chose to aggress towards me. And I only defended myself. At the end of this, I should have a bunch of free stuff. Look at all this harvesting I'm doing. Okay. There's the city of, uh, Coral, I think. Yeah. Sweet. We'll make it into the city, see what they have to say, and walk our way out of there. Of all the cities, I think this is probably one of the more fun ones to visit. Looks rather Anglo-Saxon, if you know what I'm saying. Sweet, some people popped up in the distance. And this was most certainly the city I stopped by. Yes, you all can have a most wonderful day. Enough of the superlatives. More of the gaming. We're gonna be creative gamers, but first I gotta... apparently drop this plate palette. I'm not actually able to 
use it for anything. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know what time it is, but it looks like we have... Hmm. It's, tw it's midnight and people are still walking out. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, I've never been to Shainal. I... Oh, hang on, you're someone else. Sup? Apologies, my good friend. I mistook you for someone else. Always being asked about it, I am. Didn't I see you in shade and all, they say? But I'm sick of it. Sick and tired, tired and sick, and perhaps a little drunk. But never mind. You look like the honest sort, so I've got a job for you. Oh, yeah? You're going to travel to Shane Hall and find out what sort of imposter is trying to besmirch my good name. And you're going to tell him... You're going to tell him I'm quite capable of besmirching my good name on my own. You should cease and desist immediately. There's 50 gold pieces in it for you, friend. Right then. Off you go. Well then, that was quite the most expedient of quest giving. Thank you, good sir. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find an end to take a nap. We're still going to be playing for the rest of the episode. Looks like this is one of those places that will be open. Ah, oh, shit. A fucking furry. Well, I don't mean you no harm. Well met. <laughs> but I do mean your stuff a lot of harm. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Fuck you. Seriously. <laughs> we good, Gucci? We, we I, fam? I didn't steal! Welcome to the Oak Enclosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Our Hi. rooms and food are at your disposal. Alright, alright, alright. So, first of all, I'm sorry for doing that. Apparently, now I know. Picking up things without your permission is the same thing as stealing. I got it. But can I rent a bed from you? That's all I wanted to do. Didn't want no trouble. I was just being a bit of a memer. There's one available for the night. If you're interested, it'll be ten gold. What do you say? Ten gold's pretty good. I'll take it. The room is upstairs, first door to the left. Sleep well. Thank you. And, uh, can I pet your head? You know what? Never mind. Forget about it. I'm feeling tired anyway. You too. All right, I gotta get out of here before the guards catch on to me. All right, looks like I'm good for now. Shit. Off I go to bed. Nighty night, my n-words. I sleep a little bit of ten hours. My guy's feeling a bit depressed, so he's getting more of his luxury beauty sleep on this certa certified mattress.